A few days ago, I had a stream with my friend Elemental FA, who you should totally check out, link in the description. And our discussion at one point shifted towards Adventure Time, because I started complaining about it. Mostly how it declined in quality, in my personal opinion, and how I was really mad that a lot of the characters, Faceking, got shafted in the later seasons. You know what's something that I get, like, frustrated? I have- I get my blood boiling because of it. What? Adventure Time. Why? I'm so fucking mad at it. <laughs> Why? Adventure Time's so good! Then she called me an Ice King fangirl. Here's- here's my analysis of why it doesn't work. Okay. okay so, the problem is, they did- they abandoned all the plot lines, specifically the best plot line, Ice King, aka Simon Petrikov. He had the best story. Just because you have a crush on Simon, does it? <laughs> and look, I'm not here to deny that, but... It made me start thinking about the years and years of mockery I experienced as a Simon, aka Ice King fangirl. We are just not respected in this society, you know? And I'm here to fucking change that. I never understood why people don't respect my boy Ice King as much as I do. He has all the traits. He is quirky XD. He is sad and lonely and also has a tragic backstory. He, he's possessive, which all the girls find super attractive for some reason in their anime boys. And that was when I realized. It's because he's old and ugly. You shallow fucking people, you don't get, you don't get the quality, the absolute master quality of this character just because he's old and has a beard and a big nose. Well, I'm here to fucking change that, okay? Because, and hear me out here, Ice King, it has all the qualities of a perfect anime boy. What do you mean, Cad? That that sounds very weird when you say it like that. Ice King, really? Ice King is the perfect anime boy, what? Well, hear me out, hear me out. He is talkative, which makes him have dramatic monologues, you know? That's what all the anime boys have. He is quirky, which makes him be unique, you know? He is sad, which it translates into angsty and mysterious. He is lonely, aka unfit for society. People don't get him, he's misunderstood. And he also has stalkerish tendencies, which translates into a yandere, if you really think about it. If Ice King was an anime boy, you guys would be all over him. But you aren't ready for that discussion yet. But I'm gonna start it anyway. So basically, I told my sister about my big brain idea to make Ice King into an anime boy. At first, she responded with concern and mockery, but then I made her realize that this is the most memeable shit ever that would make a great video, and then she was on board. We quickly jumped into the designing process. It was much harder than I initially anticipated. Surprisingly, designing an anime version of a character with a big nose, a big beard, and who's also old is much harder than it looks, especially when you translate him into an anime boy. But after some time, we came up with several designs that we liked. The sun was beginning to set, but we had our plan. The hardest part was figuring out what to do with the beard. Because you see, anime boys don't usually have beards, and if they do, it's small goatee. But Ice King has a huge ass beard that he flies with. He's just quirky like that. So we gotta fi had to figure out what to do with it. We couldn't just keep the beard, even though I'm super into beards and I would have loved that. But we're doing this for the common people who don't appreciate the beardiness of an old man. So, what did we do? We gave him a little braid on his beard. So he looks like a Nordic warrior or king. It's cool like that, if you think about it. The next, the next step was figuring out what to do with the eyes. You see, Ice King is a really quirky and crazy character. That's what makes him unique. So, I had to figure out how to translate that into a design. So I looked up... I, you got, so I looked up that one music video, You Got That, with anime girls, and pretty much just copied one of the girls from that video. Yeah, that, that's where the eyes came from. The next step was the clothes. You see, my sister is really good at designing clothes. Much better than me, that's for sure. So I pretty much just copied ideas from her design. She gave him a fur coat, I gave him a fur coat, but I added a little extra detail to it. Placing it above his heart, because it's symbolic. You see, Finn wears an ice bear hat, because in his mind, he's always fighting like a bear. But Ice King has a heart of a beast, like a bear. So that's why it's around his heart. I am deep, very deep. Please tell me that I'm deep. Here was also tasking, because I wasn't just designing an anime boy, you know? This wasn't just a generic design for a guy. 
It was supposed to be unique and work in an anime setting. So that's what I did. I really tried my best to design the hair to look unique, but also fit the original design. So it's shorter on the top and it's longer on the back, just like Ice King's hair. Very smart. And finally for the clothes, I decided to go with something simplistic. My sister designed this really detailed robe, but it was far too detailed for animation, if you ask me. So that's why I decided to pick one small detail from her design. Mostly the destroyed aspects of the robe. Just, it's slightly destroyed near the edges, making him look very wild and uncontrollable. And that's when it hit me. I should give him chains. So to explain the chains, I will have to talk a little about his backstory. So spoiler warning, to make the story short, he was once a human man called Simon Petrokov and he lived in a normal human world. He had a job, he had a fiance, life was good. Then he went to this expedition to Scandinavia and found this ice crown. Basically, he put it on his head to make his fiance laugh, but the crown was cursed and made him act very, very horrible to his fiance, made him act insane, sprout crazy things, and he scared her off and she ran away and he never saw her again. And what happened next? Basically, a war broke out and while he was dealing with the ice crown, changing his body, making his hair grow white, his skin turn blue, his nose grow, all this shit, um, the war broke out and Basically, humanity pretty much died. Later, he was one of the few survivors and he had to take care of this little girl, Marceline. And that was this whole story. During that whole time, he kept losing his memories. He could not remember who he was once he wore that crown. He, all he knew is that he wanted his princess back, his fiance. And that's why in present day, a thousand years later, as the Ice King, he captures princesses because he wants to find his princess. That's legit so fucking sad, and oh my god, it's such a good backstory. So yeah, that's why I gave him chains. Because first off, chains are fucking hot. Second off, because the crown is literally chaining him from being free, from being able to remember, from being a normal person again. It's so sad, but also kind of stupid when you think about it, the chains thing, because it's so cringy, but I love it, and that's why I gave him chains. <laughs> Pretty much, Ice King is a babe, and I love him so much, and now you will be able to love him too, because he's a sexy anime boy. Because you're shallow like that. Fuck you. Anyhow, bye!